Hi, good morning. Today is Saturday, September 25th, 2021. It's about 8.30 in the morning. I just got back from my morning walk. So excuse my <clears throat> uh, just woken up look this morning. Uh, but today I'm going to read a book called Clifford Gets a Job. Clifford was another one of our favorite books. This is by Norman Bridwell. Look, so the inscription on this book is that this was a bingo for books uh, book, uh, a gift from the Pronghorn Elementary School in Gillette from the Pronghorn PTO in February 2007. Hello, I'm Emily Elizabeth. If you don't live on my street, you may not know me or my dog Clifford. It's a big dog. He's a lot of fun to play with. There's only one bad thing about Clifford. He eats a lot of dog food and a lot of dog food costs a lot of money. <laughs> we were spending all our money for dog food. Ma Mother and daddy didn't know what to do. We will have to send Clifford away, they said. Clifford didn't want to go away. He made up his mind to get a job and pay for his own dog food. He decided to join the circus. Good old Clifford. <laughs> the circus man liked Clifford. Clifford got the job. But they put him in the sideshow. He just sat there and people just looked at him. Clifford wanted to do something. So he was just the um, amazing red dog. They were just trying to have him as like a showpiece, which is unfortunate because Clifford's awesome. He peeked into a tent. He saw little dogs doing tricks. Clifford wanted to do tricks too. So he ran into the tent and he tried to jump through the hoop, just like the little dogs. <laughs> he may need a bigger hoop. It didn't work. In the next ring, Clifford saw a little dog riding on a pony. Oh, look at his little face. <laughs> Clifford thinks he can do anything a little dog can do, but he can't. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Get the guy. <coughs> The circus man was angry and he asked Clifford to leave. Don't worry, I said, you can get another job. So he went to see a farmer. The farmer thought Clifford would be a good farm dog. He said Clifford could work for him. First, Clifford rounded up the cows. Then Clifford brought home a wagon full of hay. He was doing so well. And then he saw a rat running to the barn. Clifford knew that rats on a farm must be very bad. Look at him. It's like any dog you're walking that sees a squirrel or something, huh? You want to chase after it. So Clifford chased the rat. Uh-oh, look. <laughs> Oh, look at his little face. He feels so bad. He was just trying to do the right thing, huh? Clifford and I started home. We felt very bad. Everything had gone wrong. Suddenly, a car came speeding past us. <clears throat> oh, what does that look like? Does it look like bad guys with guns? Get doing stuff they maybe shouldn't be doing. And right behind it came a police car. They were chasing robbers. <clears throat> Clifford took a short cut through the woods. Those are some interesting woods. <laughs> and caught the robbers. Look at him go. I was very proud. The chief of police offered Clifford a job as a police dog. Now Clifford goes to work every day. 
they don't pay him money, but <laughs> very satisfied look that time, huh? Every week they send Clifford a lot of dog food. So now we can keep him. Isn't that wonderful? Good old Clifford. <laughs> Thanks for joining me this morning. Love you.